Coming up this time on Sailing Cedar McClyde, I return to Juneau after a quick few weeks away from the boat and start my solo leg down to Petersburg, Alaska. During these first few days of the solo leg, the winds were pretty mellow but steady enough that kept me sailing happily down through Taku Harbor and then to Tracy Arm, where I went for some dinghy missions and checked out some amazing icebergs floating around in the area. Thanks so much for watching, and if you're enjoying this series, make sure you hit subscribe so you see the next ones coming up. Okay, I'm back in Juneau, heading to the boat. Pretty nice, easy flight here. Um, but pretty excited to get back to the boat and get heading south. Scheduled my flight so that I could take a bus um, to the boat for a couple reasons. One, it's a lot cheaper, two dollars instead of like twenty or thirty. Two, the taxis here are horrible, as I discovered on the way um, back down south uh, when the taxi didn't show up and there were none available from the other company, so I had missed my flight. But that's all good. Live and learn. Good morning from Juneau um, in the Aurora Harbor. It's a negative 4.5 foot tide right now. So the tide's gonna go up 20 feet in the next six hours. Um, so you can see why these huge pilings are necessary here with these massive tides. But it's a beautiful, warm, sunny day and there's a bit of a northwest blowing and I'm gonna head off pretty soon. Uh, I'm getting set to leave Juneau now. Um, there's supposed to be northerly winds, but it's blowing southerly. Um, but there is wind and it's not too uh, strong. Um, right now the tide is against me, um, but I will kind of want to get under that bridge so I have lots of room. I know there's room, but it feels really nervous going underneath that bridge. When you look up your mast, it looks like you're going to hit it, even though there is maybe 10 feet of uh, clearance. So I'm going to go right now when there's more like 15 foot of clearance um, and then start tacking uh, down the channel towards Stevens Passage. And then I'm going to go to Taku Harbor tonight. Okay, time to head south. 700 miles down to Victoria over the next three to five weeks. So this is the first time I've solo sailed for quite a while, uh, since last year. So I have a, a little, feel a little bit anxious, mostly about this bridge up here. Um, I, I really shouldn't, but it just looks so close when you're going underneath it. Anyways, um, yeah, I feel this little anxiousness, but I'm really excited to get going here. Uh, maybe part of the anxiousness is um, just being alone for seven days, probably. I won't really see anybody unless I tie up at some free docks, which I may, I may tonight as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, time to go. I'm just coming up to the bridge now. Um, got a bit of a current I'm fighting here. But uh, it's all good. Going three knots still. Um, and I should have it's like 54 feet of clearance, and my mast is 43 feet uh, high. So I'll have 10 feet to clear. It's probably going to look horrifying as I go underneath, um, but it uh, should be all just fine. Oh, that's freaky. Uh, there's less room though. Okay, I am clear of the bridge now. Now I'll just motor out here a little ways and get my sails up. Stoked. Turn, stoked to turn the engine off and get sailing again after a whole month. Tacking my way up the uh, Gustano Channel, or out of it, south uh, away from Juno. Uh, coming up on Stevens Passage pretty soon here, probably about uh, 13 miles until my destination of Taku Harbor, but making quite a nice pace. 
the channel is getting wider and there's less shoals so I can do longer tacks here. But the current is definitely helping me out now. Um, my angles are really good. And yeah, making quite a nice pace despite somewhat light wind, um, but having a really nice time being back up in the water. I've just reached the bottom of Gasnu Channel. I'm at the four-way intersection of uh, Taku Inlet and River, and then Stevens Passage, and then the other part of Stevens Passage past Arden Point. Um, so this is a place where that can get pretty spicy, as I found out last time I was up here in 2011. Um, we got our butts whooped just south of here by Grand Island. It's pretty awesome to be back out in the water after about a month uh, break there. This is a pretty neat experience to do some solo sailing here. Um, first time, first time ever solo sailing up in Alaska. And this is the first time doing a longer solo trip in quite a while. I've done a few weekends in the Gulf Islands over the years, um, but not since my very first year of sailing did I do the, um, more than a couple days of sailing. I did a couple week-long trips um, when I first got my first sailboat. As you do when you're 20-something and have only started sailing, you go sailing by yourself. But everything worked out fine, and here I am. Got the hydrovane steering for me. It is working away. Slowly ghosting along here. And I'm still going almost two knots. I think there's current in my favor. I mean, there has to be. It's uh, pretty glassy out here. Um, but uh, yeah, I kind of got spun around for a minute here, and then the cruise ship waves come and smash me. But still making way towards Taku Harbor, but there's a little bay that's only a couple miles ahead that I might head to instead. So the wind came back up and then it died again. Um, the current is in my favor a little bit here. So I had like two miles to get into a bay that was sort of the wrong direction or four miles to go down to Taku Harbor. So I just decided to putt this way. Um, I should be into Taku Harbor in half an hour or something and go tie up to the dock. I'm tied up at the Taku Harbor uh, floats. Some nice folks came out and gave me a hand docking, but uh, it was first solo docking in a little while, but it went great. Um, yeah, so nice and peaceful and calm in here. I'm happy I did push a little bit further. The current was giving me a really big boost. Going, I was going to almost seven knots for the last uh, 20 minutes, so that was pretty good. Um, and now I'm only 20 miles from the entrance to Tracy Arm, where I'm planning on going tomorrow. And I'm going and checking out a bunch of the floating ice and and go for some walks on the beach. Well, the forecast had said it was going to be southerly all day today, but it's actually changed to be northerly, and it actually is blowing northerly a little bit. I have another hour and a half with the tide in my favor, and then it turns against me upwards to a knot later on. Um, but I'm going to go grab this northerly while it's happening and enjoy um, breakfast out there instead. Well, it's looking a little light to the south where I'm going. It's a pretty, a little bit nicer up to the north, but there is some wind. Um, I could already actually be sailing right now, so I better just go put my sails up instead of talking to, to you guys. Beautiful morning. The hydrovane is doing a great job uh, steering us downwind. I'm just making breakfast, having my coffee. Um, wasting no time. This is just a perfect little breeze. We're going about um, four and a half knots right now, We're perfectly the right direction. Only have 20 miles to make today, so starting at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, um, well, not too early, gives me ample time to muck around with whatever wind and current I end up getting. Well, the wind has pretty much totally died. Um, however, I am drifting at one and a half knots in the right direction. So I think the current is actually staying in my favor. Um, we'll see how long that lasts. Hopefully it keeps going. But I'm just gonna hang out here. No point in rushing. It's early in the day still. It's only about 9.30. Had breakfast, just sort of hanging out now. Um, big ugly cruise ship going by. That's all good. I'll just read, relax. Um, if, the, if I start getting pushed backwards, then I will putz ahead to the little anchorage that's not too far from me, about five miles ahead right now. Um, or maybe I'll just drift around. I don't know. I'll figure it out. It's 
super nice little breeze has kicked up here from the south, um, but I'm clipping along at uh, almost six knots. The angles are nice because the ebb is continuing. As the uh, coast pilot said, the ebbs can be continuous in Stevens Passage. And that's what I'm definitely getting. This is really nice. A few cruise ships kicking around, some power boats, um, but mostly I have the straight to myself. Still some nice snow in the mountains to tempt me, but I won't be taking the skis out anytime soon. <laughs> And I got the uh, hydro vane steering behind me. It's doing a fantastic job. Steering us uh, perfectly on track. Yeah, this is really nice. It's really peaceful. It's really nice to just spend this time on my own for the first time in a long, long time. This power yacht Blue Moon here just came by and left behind this really steep wake. Ooh, yeah, those are pretty good waves. A lot bigger than the uh, cruise ship waves, actually. So I think I'm crossing the tide line here. We just saw our speed whoa, slowed down quite a bit. Almost a whole knot. Um, but the seas will get a little bit flatter just past here, because now the current is with the wind. Um, yeah, you can see all this kind of chop right here. It uh, slowed me down, yeah, a whole knot. And maybe not a whole knot, three quarters knot, and uh, knock my angle off a little bit. But we're still making fine progress, and uh, the seas are even flatter just ahead here. Continued awesome sailing, and I haven't touched the helm or hydro in for probably half an hour now. I think I still got another 20 or 30 minutes left on this tack, so I'll probably just leave it. There's this power boat up ahead that I've I've heard it for half an hour or something, but now I finally just spotted it. It's so loud. I couldn't imagine being on board one of those things all day, just motoring along. I'm sorry if that offends any motor boat folks. Maybe it's quieter on board? You guys could let me know. But from a sailboat in the distance, it's sure noisy. I've been experiencing a bit of lack of seamanship among some of the fishing fleet up here. Just cutting unnecessarily close to my bow. This guy's leaving, what, two boat lengths? I don't know if he, he didn't make any distinct changes to let me know what he was doing, nor did he answer a radio call to clarify what he was up to. But it's kind of frustrating. I don't know why they feel the need to not, to cut across the bow instead of, you know, turning five degrees for a minute to get out of my way. Um, you know, they're not fishing or nothing. You, know, you just have to watch where, watch where you're going because you can't always assume they, they're actually on the helm. Well, the good luck continues. I just crossed the tide line and it's totally changed my direction to exactly where I want to go. Um, the wind is quite light right now, but I'm still going two knots exactly where I want to go. I think mostly drifting now which is fine with me. Just some absolutely beautiful sailing. Um, I'm already uh, looking at the entrance to Tracy Arm now. Um, and there's actually another sailboat up there, which is wonderful. That's so nice to see. Well, the wind got all loopy and crazy right here. I probably could have waited, but it's all choppy. And it looks like it's gonna come up kind of strong here. So I decided I'll just uh, more or less last two miles, get out of here before I have to start reefing and things like that to make another mile. <laughs> uh, beautiful classic wooden boat cruising past, coming out of Tracy Arm here. I was just chatting with Captain Ben from uh, MV Discovery. That was that boat that saw us in uh, Tkats Bay and uh, some uh, guests caught some uh, imagery of us uh, skiing, hiking up and skiing down. Uh, yeah, so nice to be back here. Just beautiful day. Only a couple boats in the anchorage up here, so I'm just gonna have an easy time anchoring. Um, and yeah, relax and I'll get the dinghy out and go play around, look at some ice. Maybe there'll be some on the beach for me to poke at. This is real sweet though.
wind is just howling as soon as I got into um, the inlet here. Um, not a whole lot of ice to watch out for. There's none really that was in my way. Just this big beauty right here. Um, but the, I'll just wait until I get into the anchorage to drop my sail where the wind, it looks like it's almost calm right in there. Checking out some icebergs just outside the bay um, where I'm anchored. Tracy Arm Cove is it's locally known. It's a big, big puppy that's stuck on the bar that kind of blocks these big ones from getting into the anchorage. And there's C.J. McLeod back there. There's definitely some things that are more difficult when you're sailing by yourself. I mean, a lot of things. One of which was getting this guy off the boat and onto there. I managed to do it in multiple steps by um, like lowering it off the rail and then roping it down a little bit further. Carefully, careful not to like have the prop putting too much prep pressure on the um, on the Zodiac here. But uh, it went okay. Um, there was a couple moments that were a little sketchy, but I gotta, I gotta definitely have to refine my style. But. This chunk of ice behind me would have come about 20 miles down this inlet, uh, Tracy Arm, um, and now is stuck aground right here. I'm not sure what the depth is, but I would guess 20 or 30 feet, and it's just stuck sitting here right now. But as the tide goes up, it might break free, or it'll just sit here and melt until it gets light enough to start floating away again or a chunk breaks off. These things are pretty volatile, so I'm definitely keeping my distance because they can suddenly break apart and start rolling and whatnot, and make big waves. and crushing chunks of ice come flying off. This one's pretty big, kind of house-sized. It's beautiful and great light right now with the sun setting. Kind of drifting a little close to it. I better row away from it now. I hung around these icebergs right until the sun went down and then moseyed back to the bay. And I was invited aboard another boat for a while, so I hung out with some fellow sailors and then had a very peaceful sleep in the perfectly calm bay. Coming up next time on Sailing Cedra McClyde. Before I leave Tracy Arm, I go check out some grounded icebergs on the shore and collect more ice to fill the cooler up. As I continue solo down Stevens Passage, more showery and squally Alaskan type weather shows up. I talk into Wyndham Bay to hide from a gale that was supposed to come, but the gale never materialized, though I wasn't complaining after having spent a few days relaxing and hiding out from the rain in a beautiful spot. I leave behind Wyndham Bay and get some really nice sailing down to the junction of Frederick Sound and Stevens Passage, where I spend the night in Cleveland Passage. Thanks so much for watching, and if you're enjoying these episodes, please do subscribe. I'm approaching the 1,000 subscriber mark, which will allow me to monetize and start making some sweet Google pennies. Bye for now!